that thing's up, dude. What up? Not much, man. Just got home not too long ago. Oh, uh, from a teacher conference or something? Nah, I therapy on Mondays. Gotcha. Also, this is on Twitch, just in case uh, there are... Oh, I am. Yeah. I really don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. My shit's free to air. I don't care. <laughs> Most All right. people don't know who I am anyway, but... All I do is bitch about being a teacher. Anyone watching, <laughs> don't be a teacher. If that is in your career path, avoid it. And, uh, kind of be a dick. So that's it. That's all I, that's all I do. <laughs> all right. I'm doing one of the slowest Battlegrounds runs. Ooh, These which guys. one? It's the, whatever the very first one you were able to do on Nessus is, I forget what it's called. It's the one that we did flawlessly with Danny. Oh, okay. Um, it's just slow because like normally when I'm using um, my favorite new gun, you know, Lumina, ah. stuff just dies really fast because everyone's trying to use big damage anyway. So I just, they just do more damage and their rockets are like popping off. But these guys just aren't using anything but primaries. <laughs> oh man, it's like year one. Yeah. Let me get this finisher, get my well of ions to increase melee damage. Peregrine Greaves activated, barrier colossus dead in one hit. So after attempting this so many times, I've discovered my new favorite special weapon. What's that? Uh, subsistence Killing Wind uh, Wastelander. Wastelander, the shotgun. Yes. Okay. okay. I can see that, yeah, because you get a kill to start your like chain kills going, and then from there you're just firing shoddy after shoddy with yeah. increased range. And never having to reload. Yeah. Definitely could see that. Plus, it feels a I, lot like I'm using a Nova in CSGO, just sawed off style. Hell yeah, dude. And its hip fire accuracy, uh, its hip fire cone is so tight. Yeah, dude. It's really nice when you find something like that that just feels good. Like, that's how I feel with, and I'm not going to stop talking about it, so get ready, with Lumina. <laughs> Part of why I won't stop talking about it is because I don't think people realize how good it is. Yeah, and then like just the fact that you can hit, that you have to hip fire to apply the buff, like there's not, you don't even have to think about it. Right. The buffing, the buffing shot, the noble round tracks your teammates. Yeah. Yeah, you just hip fired off. I've nailed, but when you nail them from all the way across the map to like a long shot, you kind of guess where your teammates headed. It's super satisfying. If you get it right and you guess properly. Yeah. <laughs> I need help with this champ, so let me do my finisher. Arkwell, Well of Ions activated. Peregrine Greaves active. Oh, he killed him. Never mind. Just wasted one sixth of my super. Oh, I can use it on the boss, though. Here we go. Yeah. Boom. Oh boy, I tried to save that guy, but it was gonna get me killed. I'm no. sorry teammate, I tried to get to ya. It was just a mess. Get my combo going. If I don't get my combo going, this champ is not going to die because no one on my team is using anti barrier either.
get another combo going for the boss too. There we go. That was a long one. Back to my favorite thing, strike playlist. <laughs> Why do you lie? Yeah. Fair. I actually like the part of it. I like the strikes better than the battlegrounds in this grind loop. Fair. Oh wow. That's why everything is so slow and weird in the game. Bungie brought the game, not offline, but they were doing background. Yeah, uh, they were just uh, maintenance, which kicked me out of my last uh, attempt. Which I'm not too salty about because I uh, did die to uh, the sparrows. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, uh, which I'm salty about that because I definitely hit one of the buttons, but I guess the counter didn't update. And that sucks. That means I have to go to. That means that I have to go to the tower to put this thing in the vault. It's like the old Destiny one. Oh days. yeah, dude. I tried loading up Dim for my. Uh... Thing and it didn't work, so I, I just hope that I have everything I want in my inventory right now. Yeah, I just got a <clears throat> triple tap Vorpal Ikalos hand cannon. Okay. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to keep it. I don't know if it'll be useful in this season, but it sure seems like it will be in a future season. Yeah, uh, bow, bows are staying relevant, right? I think it was that, like, bows and maybe scouts are going to be anti-barrier, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. I'll never complain about having a bow as an anti-champ weapon, though. That shit <laughs> works really well. Like, Overload SMG, that was a nightmare. Uh. Overload SMG, where you had to empty an entire magazine to actually stagger a champ. And then when they uh, introduced champions, it was uh, anti-barrier SMG. Yeah. I remember that one very vividly. Oh my god, it's so close. Auto loading unrelenting. It's gotta be lasting impression. I've gained this out. I need that lag time on the damage so that I can get my stacks up. I don't strictly need it, but it makes the gameplay loop that I'm going for a lot easier. So for now, auto loading cluster is still better than auto loading unrelenting. Damn. So I am going back to strikes now. Well, hey, uh, at least the uh, cluster bombs are bonus damage. Yeah, it's true. I'm I'm okay with that roll for now. It's better than... I didn't have a single auto-loading rocket before. So that's a pretty good one to get, but... Auto-loading lasting would be so good. Because <clears throat> the way I use this, too, I also often want to fire a rocket in, on an enemy immediately after a shoulder charge. Ah, and if I yeah. do that without lasting impression, I blow myself up. But if I have lasting impression, I stay alive, the damage delays, I can get a Lumina buff shot off to a teammate to increase my rocket damage by 35. It's so much better. The odds of me getting this roll, though, they're not quite astronomically small, but they're small. My dog just discovered that her, like, hollow toy still has some peanut butter in it. 
Oh my god. My Scorch just expired on me in my hand. Yikes. You're at the Ogre? Yeah. Tough to solo because you take all the aggro. What's that? It's tough to solo because you take all the aggro. Like everything comes for you instead of the thralls going for a teammate sometimes or whatever. Well, so my build, actually the thrall come in handy. Do they? Yeah, because uh, my exotic gives me invisibility whenever I get a powered, uh, any sort of powered melee kill. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Or finishers even. guys are both high rank on the season pass, so I guess I'll do this strike. I usually skip it. Never mind, I died. I went to a pike in the first second, and I'm putting a different one. Oh my god, scuffed damage phase because the ogre decided he wanted to leave my stasis tornado. And refusing to stagger. Uh, but I'm tired of doing this encounter over and over. Yeah. So I'll live with it. Luckily, I only narrowly miss... Uh, a two phase, so doesn't hurt too much. Yeah, for being alone, it's going to be good. Yeah, get down, get down. Good girl, go, 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 go. go. And then just let the boss deal the. Oh, oh shit, the thrall. Oh, and the Thrall also come in handy between damage phases, because, um... What is that, the hands-on mod where you get extra super? Yeah, my brother's calling me, sorry. Okay, you're good. You're good. My, uh... I live really close to my brother. We live a few doors down from each other. And I guess our crazy neighbor texted him that there are cats in my front yard that she doesn't recognize and she thought they were my cats. Oh. <laughs> I was kind of like, uh... I mean, I'll look, but, like, my one cat I was just telling to get off my desk, like, a second ago. My other cat, I don't think he'd even go outside if he could because he's so fat and lazy. <laughs> anyway, good looking out. Nice of the neighbor to put the word out. I would 
definitely want to know if it was my cats. But kitties and the outdoors where I live don't mix. In the desert, a cat is only one thing, and that's food. <laughs> so many things here that would just snatch up any cat I saw. Owls, hawks, coyotes. you actually help. We're trying to speed run this right now. Watch Dez solo it. Thank you. And of course, the boss f forgets that he's supposed to stagger again. Oh, Jesus, what are you doing here? Oh, no, 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 no. Back the fuck. Oh, why? 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 No, no, no. Get back where you're supposed to stand. Oh, my God. I'm so close to leaving this strike. <sighs> oh God. We're, we're dealing with different frustrations, but frustrations nonetheless. Whew. This kid hasn't stopped firing sweet business since the strike began, even when there aren't any enemies or anything. He's just... He's just <laughs> the whole... I've been listening to sweet business for about three and a half minutes, non-stop. Uh, and I, I really am about to leave the strike. <laughs> like, Let me guess, he's also using Actium War Rig? He's gotta be. He's gotta be. <laughs> Is this fence open yet? Oh god damn it. I killed the bot. Yes, it's open. I can leave. I'm out of here. You guys can deal with it. This next area is open, and so I don't have to listen to that. Damn it, I lost the Scorch right at the last moment. I miss speedrunning strikes with you. This is annoying. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed. And Don't. not for any good reason either. I'm getting annoyed because I'm a dick. I'm getting annoyed that these guys aren't going fast enough when, like, they're just trying to play the game. Yeah, I get mad at strikes for that same reason, too.
just skip the bricks, kill the walker. Let's go. This chill touch modifier in strikes is actually pretty tough to deal with because when you get slowed like that, you can die surprisingly fast. Alright, Ogre is done again. And then I'm probably going to die to sparrows for some other bullshit reason again. I'm soloing the strike. It's pretty funny. <laughs> there are two other people here, but I'm soloing it at this point. Sweet business is still fucking going. <laughs> I can't even tell what he's shooting. At least he's shooting the servitors. He's shooting the right thing. Has he stopped to reload at at all once? Not that I've noticed, but I've spent as much time away from him as possible. <laughs> so I don't have to listen to eat. Chill touch. Oh god, it's so dangerous. Alright, I think we're done. We finished this strike. Good. Get me out of here. Yeah, sweet business, acting more rig. That uh, honestly, that's how I. Uh, that was like all of my time in the Crucible uh, back in year one. <laughs> yes, I was a uh, Titan main P uh, for PvP back then. Sweet business. Yeah, and Actium. Alright, Sparrow Race done. Now the rest of this is easy. Now that's what I like to fucking see. This guy, in this strike, he better got- he, he's got the speedrun strats. Yeah? Well, he's 1375 power, so that tells me a lot. <laughs> got 45 bonus on his artifact power. So, there's that. There's a lot of Thrallway going on there. Uh... It's the disgrace. We should be able to breeze through this. The disgrace should take six minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember that one blueberry that just ran through the wall? Yeah. That was brood hold. Oh, that I was, was like, brood hold. I was like. I, I typed in chat exactly what I said out loud to myself, living alone in my apartment. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> he just casually walked through. I mean, it was so clear to me that for him, there was no wall there. He didn't see shit. It was just open. <laughs> This guy's trying to walk into the weight, the like laser fence. You can't go in there yet. The other guy on my team is like. Oh, that's very, disgrace. Very green blueberry. Yeah, you said laser fence, and now I know what you're talking about. 
The one that I keep trying to find a skip for. Yeah, I I don't know, you may find it one day, dude. Oh yeah, he's using Trinity Ghoul. Let's fucking go, baby. So hey. Go. Oh, I'm gonna die. I got two greedy and chill touches on. Oh, my teammate saved my life. Yes. Let me buff your damage 35% with Trinity Ghoul. How about that? Alright, 19 riches, and I think I picked one up on accident at some point. So here's hoping. Oh, here's a drag for safety. Oh, more drags. Sure, why not? This guy realizes. Here, look at me, look at me. Push that. Get the cannon. Oh, right next door. Cool. The normal strike playlist just had a clock, a timer in the corner. Not a countdown, just to show you what your time is. For players like me who have done all of these strikes hundreds of times, that would be really nice that you could kind of like start benchmarking certain times at certain points in the strike and trying to set personal records. And... Yeah, I agree. That does sound like a great thing to add. Put a little timer, just a little clock that starts at zero at the beginning of the strike. Counts up by the second. I mean, shit, if they wanted to give me a tenth of a second, I would take that too, honestly. Can you imagine beating your time by a tenth of a second? Or not beating it by a tenth of a second? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Disgraced Novota skip. Let's just skip this whole area with this ogre in this hill, shall we? Yep, got it, got the skip. Thrall are gonna kill me because I'm surrounded and they all have me slowed. <laughs> Chill touch is brutal. You cannot get meleeed. It's like the same thing as dying. Oh, because you're just stuck there, right? Yeah, so one Thrall scratched me, so I got stuck there, but then I got stun locked because there are like three other Thrall right behind them. They all scratch me and each one slows me again. So I just, yeah, I just couldn't move, couldn't heal, couldn't do anything. They just scratched me to death. That's a really good way to make Thrall actually dangerous instead of nothing.
See, that's why I need the impression rocket. Blew myself up. Okay, ball, stop, stop rolling this way. Come on, come on. I know you want to go this way. Good job. All right, one more. All right, actually quick strike. Gotta, gotta love it. Fine. Oh my god, the Scorch Cannon is just spamming me worse than Team Scorched. That's saying something. Yeah. What's that? I'm gonna eat something, but I'll be on in a little bit. I'm okay. I will catch you later. See ya. Oh no, that's the wrong way. I'm so stupid.
Oh boy. Do I want Do I want to do rockets for the majors? Ah. All right, whoever that is watching, I need to use the bathroom real fast. Or not, my roommate's in there, so I'm just gonna sit tight. Um, I'm gonna switch to strafe jump for this. Because I know if I get shot off to this to the back of the room, I'm just gonna land in water and that's not gonna be a good time. <laughs> For anyone who ever sees this in the future, in this room, water is poisonous. Well, I wouldn't say poisonous, it's more, uh, Guardians and Destiny don't know how to swim. So there you have it. Uh, I'm glad I have at least plenty of practice in this room, even though it's not all solo. But yikes, the last time I did a solo flawless on my hunter was Shattered Throne. Luckily though, even on Master, the uh, dregs that show up will just die to my uh, melee. So I just have infinite in invis. But then I know I'm not going to one phase it. So then I have to deal with the shank and the moat thief.
Is this the one that I already have? Yeah. Uh, I'm still waiting on the bathroom. I can only imagine somebody trying to do a solo flawless without using any rallies. That would be some sort of legendary, I think. Hell, one day if I get bored enough, I might try. <laughs> well, not flawless, but... Actually, shoot, it would have to be flawless, because then you could just ammo farm. Let's see, do I have any sort of finders? Okay, fusion, fusion, that's it. I'm going to go check to make sure he didn't die in the bathroom. He's going to be a minute. But yeah, luckily, this boss fight is probably the easiest across all of the other dungeons. Because every enemy in here will just die to a single slice of my melee, which I have nearly 100% uptime on. Uh, with the exception of the... Shank and the Moat Thief, which will be a considerable amount of time spent in here. And then, of course, the boss. Which, I can always take my time with him. His damage phase doesn't really last too long anyway, so I can always just hide. All right. Okay. Clown cartridge, full fusion. And then have my first shot primed. And then hide. Screw off.
Ah, oh, didn't catch him. That's the other one dead. I'm just gonna waste this.
And that's a kill. You can jump back up here. I believe in you. But if you insist. Okay. So doing a full 60 drop was, uh... Stressful. So I'm just going to do twenty at a time. Oh dear, oh dear.
Alright, that's the shank down. Where is this guy? Where is he hiding? There he is. Oh, come on now. Sure, I can do my do my drops on this side.
Now I remember why I don't like doing my drops on that side. Because those ones like to fall in the water. What's that? Let's see what the world of strikes is like. What's the math? What's 84 divided by 14? Uh, I want to say 6 or 7. Hey, you want to take a look at my stream? See how uh, my solo flawless is going? Sure, are you, you're it's on, on Discord and Twitch, whichever one you prefer. Twitch. What do you want me to look at? Sorry. Uh, my uh, stream. Yeah, but what on there? Oh, just this is how far I am in my uh, solo flawless oh, right now. Okay. Without any protective mods, I'm scared. Oh, geez. Okay, ten more. Mo uh, ten more Engrams. Yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Stay focused. All right. A fresh scorch. I need one more double drop, and hopefully my last damage phase. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was the last one that I used. Oh, I don't even need a double draw. Uh, I just need this one. This right here. Yes! You got it? Yeah. Nice, dude. Congrats. Uh. Wallace Solo. Uh, <laughs> Get that emblem. Woo! And I got a fucking sword and helmet to show for it. Let's see if the sword's any good, at least. Uh, no. I like this one better. That came from uh, Servitor. Yeah, sword, whatever. The real prize is the emblem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's over. Congrats, my dude. Thank it's you. It's one of those things where, like, for me, I'm sure I could do you like those solo flawlesses if I sat down and put in the time and effort and wiped a bunch of times and really just sat down and did it? Yeah. The scariest part, though, was, like, even though, like, Hunter's my comfort zone, 
I have no way to heal myself other than finishers. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't take the stress and I get frustrated and... Oh, hey, thanks, Orthal. Glad you were watching. That's pretty huge, dude. Good yeah. Oh, uh, and then uh, I think uh, after I come back home from duty on Wednesday, I'm going to do Prophecy. All right. Nice. Does this dude have, like, fours across the board for his health or something? Because that damage number is really weird. Uh, an hour and 12. <laughs> That's part of why I won't do that shit either. It's like, oh man. Uh, all right. Well, I can't end my stream without putting on the emblem. So I got to I got to turn that in right now. Nice. Solo. Flawless for the shader. And then solo flawless for the emblem. Let's go. All right, let's see. Is this one bugged like Gauze's is? Um, where would I find solo flawless completions under Rackers? Now I got an emblem that displays the one. <laughs> oh, oh, better yet. 69 grasp completions. <laughs> that, oh, nice. Yeah, I'm not going to touch grasp for a little while now because of that. All right. My nerves. Fuck. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I'm, uh, turning off the stream now.